live stream here with Nicholas Backstrom just a few weeks after your big front kick KO yeah. at Europa MMA. Yeah, it was sick. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I front kicked him in the face. Yeah. yeah, did you ever imagine? I mean, it was a 15 second win and kind of caught the local MMA community and the hardcore community by surprise. I think people know your name now. Uh, yeah, you know. Uh, I always known uh, like uh, my uh, level that it's uh, very high, <coughs> and I, yeah, I always felt like I was uh, like by far the best in Europe. But uh, like 15 seconds, that's that's uh, not uh, what you expect in a fight. Maybe one two rounds, um, but it was really nice because I got like uh, sick uh, before the fight uh, in my throat. Uh, and um, yeah, I was. Uh, I didn't tell anybody because um, I didn't feel like doing it. So um, yeah, I, I was just talking a lot about uh, how nice it would be to like uh, front kick him. The first thing I did and like drop him. I, exactly that I said. Like the first kick, uh, do this one, and then he goes down. Maybe jump on, on him a little bit. We were talking about it a lot and um, uh, like. Uh, yeah, we were practicing it in the warm-up and everything, and uh, then I just uh, went out and did it. And uh, yeah, I didn't expect him to go down, but uh, apparently he did. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I've, at first I was like, oh, don't uh, uh, burn yourself out now in case he's coming back, because I couldn't breathe so good. But uh, then I was like feeling that, oh, okay, uh, he's he's not going to make it out of this, so, so I... Uh, poured on a little bit more and uh, yeah it was it was over it was unbelievable yeah are you surprised at the attention this got i know you know they were calling you the swedish anderson silva <laughs> with the front kick and there was a lot of buzz yeah. at that time what did you think about all the attention uh, yeah that was uh, really fun i've been googling myself uh, <laughs> quite a lot lately uh, i don't know uh, like i'm uh, i'm my biggest uh, my own biggest fan sometimes but yeah, that was uh, that was really cool to see like how how much people uh, responded to it, stuff like that. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, I think people that uh, I don't know maybe seen you fight before, they think maybe your ground game is is maybe what's what's strongest. What and this kind of showed I think that maybe people don't know, you know, what you can really do. Uh, yeah, you know, for sure my ground game is uh, is uh, really good, uh, but uh, my stand-up is uh, really good too. Uh, now, uh, like before, I I didn't uh, train as much stand-up, but I've been a couple of years now really working hard on, on my stand-up, and I feel really secu secure in it now, um, especially when I fight. Like in training, you can't use knees, you can't use like front kicks and, and elbows and stuff like that, but when it's... Uh, I feel really good at practice still, and then when it's fight time, you know, I really feel that you know, it's it's dangerous to to fight me stand up. Uh, so I'm I'm really happy about that. I'm I'm getting more dangerous for every day that that comes. So yeah. So much talk about this fight. And Nicholas Backstrom. Oh, so he's hitting with a great shot at the start. It was a we know about his tie boxing. He's very it's a rangy. Kick and it's over. It, it's all over. What Unbelievable! A what, a shot. A fight. what a shot! We know about his tie boxing. We know. I was just about to say six foot one at a featherweight. And you know, you know people could say that was a, that was a, uh, an early stoppage, but you can see by Max Koga right now that stoppage is spot on. That was you know, a really good call from you know, Neil very, Hall. Very, very concussed. Neil Hall right in the action knew exactly what was going on. They're the closest guys to it. He, he was in no position to continue. Yeah, and it sounds like the big question, obviously, when you do something like this, and a question that you're probably going to be asked more and more is about the UFC, especially with them coming to town in October. What do you think your chances are uh, of that happening? Uh, you know, I, I don't know. Uh, you, you can always hope. Uh, like, that's uh, that's my dream, you know. And, uh, <coughs> yeah, I've been... Um, uh, that was my biggest dream. Uh, uh, I didn't even you know, dare to dream about it when I started. But uh, yeah, I'm winning fight after fight, so uh, I don't know. I don't try to focus so much on it because you know it's not up to me where I fight. So uh, I don't want to get uh, you know disappointed or anything. But 
for sure I think I've, I've had the UFC level in my fighting for a long time <coughs> but uh, it's like I always said you know uh, I'm gonna be the best in the world uh, just, just watch me you know give me the fights uh, and you see what I do you know so but uh, wherever people pay me to fight I will I will fight if it's the UFC I will be so happy but uh, yeah uh, I don't know it's not up to me don't Great. well congratulations again it was nice catching up with you and everyone wants to see uh, what's next from you uh, yeah uh, I want to see that too thank you